Hello everyone, our lesson for today is all about mathematical reasoning. Mathematical reasoning refers to the ability of a person to analyze problem situations and construct logical arguments to create both conceptual foundations and connections to be able to process the available information and solve the problems. The National Council of Teachers of Mathematics in 2000 stated that people who can reason and think analytically tend to note patterns, structures, or regularities in both real-world situations and symbolic objects. Ask if those patterns are accidental or if they occur for a reason, and conjecture and prove. Mathematical reasoning requires more than simply memorizing facts, but thinking beyond rules and procedures to form one's own questions and conjectures. Now, when is a mathematical reasoning correct? And what methods can be used to construct effective mathematical reasoning? So we'll find out in the next topic. Now, our no next topic is inductive versus deductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning is the process of making general conclusions based on specific examples. Now, these are some of the examples of inductive reasoning. First is, every object that I release from my hand falls to the ground. Therefore, the next object I release from my hand will fall to the ground. Second, every crow I have seen is black therefore all crows are black the last example is based on available data the earth has revolved around the sun following an elliptical path for millions of years therefore the earth will continue to revolve around the sun in the same manner next year on the other hand Deductive reasoning is the process of making specific conclusions based on all general principles. Now, let's take a look at this example. All men are mortal. I am a man, therefore, I am mortal. So, the general principle here is if P implies Q and P holds then q must follow second is the second example is given two supplementary angles with one of them measuring 120 degrees the measures of the other angle is 60 degrees so the general principle here is supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees so number three is if 6x is equal to 12 then x is equals to 2. The general principle is if a, b, and c are real numbers and a is equals to b, then ac is equals to bc. Now comparing these two approaches farther, consider science and mathematics. Science is the application of indu inductive reasoning to build knowledge based on observable evidence. That is why every statement in science is considered a theory. The only way to prove it is to collect more evidence. However, there is always the possibility that future evidence could prove the statement false. On the other hand, mathematics is deductive reasoning applied to relations among patterns, shapes, forms, structures, and even changes. Deductive reasoning is always valid. Nevertheless, to make correct deductions, a complete understanding of the relevant abstract principle is required. Errors can occur either by applying principles incorrectly or starting with incorrect assumptions. Deductive reasoning makes use of undefined terms, formally defined terms, axioms, theorems and rules of inference so that's the end of our topic for today have a good day everyone